hey what is up guys welcome to today's video and in today's video guys i'm going to show you how i was able to get more than 13 million emails in my server this is my email server and i'm going to explain exactly what i did and how i went from zero to oof, more than 13 million subscribers uh in a few years okay and i'm going to show you how i went to let's say zero from zero to maybe three million subscribers in a matter of months all right so again as i said we're now on one of my servers here and i'm going to show you some of my campaigns you can see here i ran uh 1500 campaigns just on the server and let me show you some of the stats before i actually explain the journey to get here okay so you can see, I mean, these results are insane. Look at how clean the list is, right? So I only had like two bounces on this e email that was about uh, 50,000 emails that were sent, okay? But I want you to take a look at the number of clicks, right? The number of clicks, this is, this is the number of people who actually saw the product that I'm promoting. And this is close to 9,000 people, all right? Unique people. So you can see here, um, some people click more than once but unique i have nine thousand people approximately who actually clicked on the link nine thousand and you can see you know here you can see uh the opens the clicks and stuff like that it's ridiculous okay um let me show you an example another example here um same example we have like eight and a half thousand people who actually clicked and went uh to see the offers and purchase and same here look at this the 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 bounces i have three bounces so this is about fifty thousand people that i um, sent emails to and check out this i mean nobody is bouncing my email so i'm going to explain in the next couple of videos how the server works and how i can make sure that i never get bounced okay it's not going to be in this video in this video i'm going to explain how i actually ended up with this number of subscribers and then in the next couple of videos i'm going to show you how this server works okay these are servers that i build and how they work and how I'm getting you know, these, these kind of stats. Here's another example where in this case, I have more than 10,000 people who actually checked my, uh, my offers. And trust me guys, that made me so much money. It's ridiculous. And let me show you another one here. Um, and again, here you can see the breakdowns, right? Where you know, the number of clicks and stuff, it's ridiculous. Um, and here in this case, yeah, another 7,000 people who clicked on, uh, on my offers and this uh, basically transcribed into so much money behind because it's a digital product with upsells. Uh, and this is how basically my business is, is able to make that much money. Okay. So now for today's video, uh, again, in this series, we're basically going to look at how I was able to get more than 13 million subscribers. And for this, uh, we're going to jump on my iPad and I'm going to explain everything, right? So you're going to understand how i got started and how i was able to do this all right so um see you in the next segment of the of the video and it's going to blow your mind all right see you there Alrighty, guys so um let me explain how i got started right so you will uh, you know hear my story because everybody's asking me dude how did you get started and uh i'm kind of like sick and tired of, of explaining the same thing so I decided to um, show you my story, which is a perfect, perfect example of growth hacking, okay? This is growth hacking at its best, and this is how I got started. All right, so, um, so what you need to understand is this. So first, I started working in anti-spam, okay? So basically, my job was this. So you had the marketers here, whoop, marketers. All right, and they were sending emails to my clients. So this is my clients here, right? Clients of the company I was working for. And basically we were here in the middle. We had servers here. And then we will basically decide what was going to go, uh, what was going to get blocked and then what was going to be delivered. Okay, and this is anti-spam. Okay, I'm not going to dwell too long on this. Okay, so um, the good thing here, what what I learned in here was how the anti-spam server, anti-spam engine works, because I was actually writing rules uh, to trap emails, 
and I contributed to the creation of reputation filters. Reputation filters. So if you know anything about deliverability, you know the concept of reputation. Okay, and this came into effect, I would say, in 2006. Okay, 2006. Uh, because in 2006, what happened is was there was a huge spike of um, spam across the, the, the whole network in the world by 40% in like a month. It was ridiculous. And our servers were just overwhelmed with spam. And we had to figure out a way to make it easier on our server. And then we started implementing this concept of reputation. So basically what reputation does, and I don't want to go too, you know, it, it, it's not the anti-spam thing that, that matters, right? But anyway... Uh, the reputation is basically going to check. So let's say you're sending an email here, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to check what you did here. And without necessarily having to filter here too much, we will know what to expect from you based on what you did before. Okay. And that saves us a lot of resources. All right. So anyway, so anti-spam. So I was in anti-spam and um, uh, again, I knew everything about the servers and about um, how emails were stopped. So now, what happened next? Next was that number two, I got approached by marketers, okay? Marketers, they told me, dude, uh, you know how these emails are being stopped. Why don't you come and work for us? So I ended up working in a in marketing company. So this is when I moved to marketing, all right? And that was 2000, uh, was it 2008? Yeah, 2008, I moved to marketing, right? Marketing companies. Now, I want you to understand something is uh, marketing, there are different types of marketing, right? The marketing that I'm doing here is really not the same as the marketing I was doing for that company. So I will say, uh, let's break it down like this. There's the marketing of like Coca-Cola, which by the way was my client, uh, Coca-Cola, and there is the marketing of me and you. Okay, what's the difference? The difference here is here that they have like billions of dollars that they can just spend, you know, in advertising campaigns, billboards and, and stuff, right? Well, whereas you, I mean, you're here, uh, you know, you don't have that much money to spend, right? You have a little bit of money here and you have to be smart, okay? So this is where you start using, you know, um, stuff like, funnels and blah, 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 that they don't necessarily need to use here because they have a big budget. So I started here, okay, working with big companies. So my, my clients were like P&G, you know, Procter Gamble, uh, we had like Pepsi, I had Skype, the client, uh, eBay, uh, who else do I have? Um, yeah, Coca-Cola, like these big companies who spend millions and millions of um, of dollars every single month just for like advertising okay and um and so my role in there um because again so i moved to marketing and my role was deliverability director okay now deliverability what does it mean uh it's a comp well it's not that, that complex the term, but it basically means if you send a hundred emails, you know, how many are actually being delivered? Okay. And the higher the number, the, the more money you make. So let's say, for example, you're sending a hundred emails, but you only get 30, 30 emails that, that make it, but I send a hundred emails and I get 99, then I have more chances of making money, right? Because you can send as many emails as you want. If none of them make it to the inbox, then you make zero money. All right. So my job was, again, because remember, I know how these servers work. I know everything about it because I built some of them. Um, it was basically to help my company. Um, so basically we had these guys, Coca-Cola and stuff. They were paying us to send their emails. Okay, why? And I will explain. The reason is simply because, let's say Coca-Cola, their, 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 job, their job is to make drinks, okay? Their job is not to create servers and stuff. It's not, okay? They, they, they know how to make drinks that people buy. So now if they need a server, they go to a company. So it's called an ESP, okay? Email service provider, okay? Email service 
provider. So you know some of them. So you guys know the MailChimp and the get response and uh, I don't know, convert kit, you know, stuff like that. But these are, these are like small timers, right? These are small timers is for, remember I told you the two different types of marketing. This is for like individuals and people that don't have budgets, right? Um, me, I, the, the ones I was working for are the big ones. Okay. The big ones, meaning, um, and I will explain the difference between two of them. Uh, meaning that, so the, the main difference is this is on the, the small ones. So the ones you're accustomed to, you will pay based on the size of your database. Okay. Because they know that your database is really small. Okay. Um, and so they charge you outrageous money. It's ridiculous how much money people pay for this, these services. Um, and very quickly, I don't know if you have like, I don't know, 5k in your database, you can end up paying, I don't know, like 300 bucks or something, you know, something ridiculous. Okay. Whereas the big ones, the ones I was working for, right. You don't get charged based on, of the size of your database because your database is huge. All right. We're talking about millions of people here. Okay. And so you can have your database can be as big as you humanly possible. Uh, and so, you know, we had customers uh, who had databases, they had like, I don't know, like 3 million people in there, you know, people like Coca-Cola and stuff, you know, 10 million and stuff. You know what I mean? So you're in, we're not going to basically charge them for this. So what we were charging was something called CPM. So CPM is every time they send a thousand emails, they will pay a few cents. Okay. So it's going to be, let's say, uh, five cents, you know, uh, something like that five cents per thousand emails that they send. Okay. And trust me, they send a lot of money, a lot of emails. So it's, it's still a lot of money. Okay. So anyway, um, I was working for these big ESPs there. Okay. Which gave me access. The good thing I got to work again with some of the biggest companies and a lot of them were in the S and P 500. Okay. S and P 500. So it exposed me. The good thing for me was, I could see very sophisticated, uh, sophisticated um, setups of companies who are, I mean, some of the leading companies on this planet, right? And then I could uh, basically have a network, right? A network of people who are uh, very prominent in the market and stuff like that. Um, and, um, and so in here, I would have access to um, so to the ISPs themselves. So ISPs is the recipients. So the hotmails, the gmails, etc. Okay. I had access to all this. So I could see really sophisticated setups. I could talk to senior managers, senior directors of like the, the best companies on the planet. And because I was representing these best, the best companies, I got to talk to the representative of Gmail, hotmail, blah, 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 saying, Hey, please help me out here. Okay. So, sorry guys, I'm telling you my life story here, just so you understand how I got to these, these like 13 million. Okay. I'm going to make it, um, faster now because that's not uh, you know, the point. Anyway, all this, the reason why I'm telling you all this is because I looked at the market. Okay. And I looked at the French market. So I was, uh, I went back to France for this and I looked at the market and I realized something. Um, I saw two different categories in the, the customers that we had. So we had, um, customers with, um, small databases. And when I say small, uh, it's not small like you and me, right? It's small. Let's say for example, for me, a 30,000 or 50,000, uh, email database was incredibly small. Okay. So we had people like 50 K, uh, but it was really well targeted. Okay. So that was in the last company that I worked for the last ESP, because I worked for a, a few of them just to understand the differences. So that was in the last one that I worked. And then we had people with like big databases, big databases and, uh, the, kind of like the, 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 the quality of those clients on that market wasn't that great. So they had big databases, but you know, the, the quality wasn't the best. Okay. Uh, and so I was like, look, there is an opportunity for me on this French market. So this was in France, right? 
And I realized, look, what I need to do, I want a segment where I will have a big database and it's going to be well targeted. Okay. How do I do that? All right. So this is where, so those, the, the 13 million emails that you see here, like 13 million, this is where everything started. All right. So let me explain what, what I did. So remember I told you that I had access. One of the advantages is I had access to like uh, senior managers, right? And because I was very good at my job, um, at the time when I started, I think there were maybe 50 people on the planet, 50 people on the planet who could do what I do. And out of those 50, uh, I will say that maybe 45 had no idea how the server actually worked. They were guessing based on what they could, they, they could see. Me, I, I worked behind the server. I knew everything about the server, okay? And I also knew uh, people from that industry who could help me, okay? Anyway, so the reason why I'm saying this is because I was so good at my job that I, I managed to um, solve a whole lot of problems for big clients, okay? Really big clients. And for that, I had a, whoop, gee. I had a very good relationship with senior managers, right? So, you know, you, you might be like, okay, what does it have to do with anything? Um, you will understand now. So now what happened was um, when I moved from one company to the other, I used to tell those guys and they knew they knew that if I left, they were in trouble, right? So when I was leaving, they were like, dude, you know, how can we stay in contact, you know? Uh, because now if you leave, I'm screwed, right? And I used to tell them, look, no worries. Um, I don't work in this company anymore. So there are some things that obviously I can't do for you because I don't work in this company anymore and there's privileged information and stuff. But if there's something I can do for you that, you know, uh, that I can do from outside, please let me know. Okay. And I kept helping them and solving their problems. All right. Um, and that paid off because at some point I had, so that was me here. I had a network of people who were sending millions and millions of emails every single day, right? Who were still coming to me, asking me for help with stuff, even though I wasn't in the company anymore. All right. And I was helping them. All right. So after the, I built this network, I realized, remember, I told you that my goal, so my number one goal was to have a big database, a big data, and two, having a, a quality data. All right. And I figured, um, because in one of the companies that I worked for, we had a tool and the, it was the APAC team. So APAC is Asia Pacific, uh, yeah, Asia Pacific team. And they created a tool and they called it Five Dragons. And I just thought the name was so cool. I was like, Jesus, this is the best name on the planet. But anyway, a lot of the features of that Five Dragons tool, I decided to use them for myself and add my own twist. And this is where I created the first, like the first tool that basically made everything possible. The reason why I'm here today is because it's that one tool, okay? And I'm going to explain what it does. So I have people now, all these people here, I help them with stuff all the time and I save them like thousands and millions of dollars. I'm, I'm saying thousands, this is millions of dollars because when you're sending millions of emails every day, we're talking about millions of dollars, right? And I save them and this is this, is um, I went to my network. Remember I told you that I have uh, millions of dollars. And so I decided to do something, right? And uh, you just need to understand. So I, I thought of, uh, of a product, okay? And my product was this. So I built a big database. And guys, let me explain. This is Facebook before Facebook. Okay? Just keep that in mind. Facebook before Facebook. This is exactly what Facebook does. So I did this. That was 2000. 10? Was that 2010? Yeah, 2000. Wait, 2000. 
2011 or 2012, something like that. Okay, that was, but, and you understand why I said Facebook before Facebook. So my, my thing was, I'm going to build this database, okay? I don't have emails myself, okay? But I need to fill this database with emails, with email addresses, all right? And then I'm going to use these email addresses in a smart way that I'm going to explain. So my first step was, how do I fill these email addresses? And remember my network of people, right? So I went to them and I said, guys, um, I have a fantastic business that's not a, it's not going to require any work on your part and it's going to make you a ton of money. Are you in? And because I built a relationship with these guys over years and years and I saved their asses many times, they said yes. Okay. So I made sure that all these people were in different verticals. Okay. You're going to understand why. So now what I did is I created stuff, something called like an API. So it's basically just a, a tunnel that connects their server with my database. Okay. And now every time they send emails out, then my server is going to get all the stats of the email. Okay. And every single one of my partners is in a different market. So here, let's say this guy sells cars. This one sells clothes. Uh, this one sells, I don't know, like insurance or something. All right. And all of them have a, um, like a, you know interests in Facebook? That's exactly what I was building, interests, okay? And so I knew that, for example, if someone clicked on any of those emails, this person was interested in insurance, and then it goes in my database, and I can say this person is interested in insurance. They clicked on emails, X many emails of insurance in the last couple of days, okay? Um, and I can also say, well, we tried sending emails to that person, but their email doesn't exist anymore because we received a, uh, a bounce. All right. So that was the step number one. Step number one for me was to acquire the data. OK, now you must be wondering, OK, but how, how are you making any money and why these people um, agreed to this? OK, so now let me explain how I made money and how everybody in the system made money. So what happened? what happened was, uh, now I have this database. So it's a data market, like database. I'm not going to make it too complicated. And in here, we have like millions and millions of emails, like data, that's super qualified. So basically, I have data on a person, right, with a lot of fields, OK? So we have, again, I'd say cars and clothes and insurance and real estate and blah, 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 et cetera. Okay. And for one person, I know that for example, they opened 20 emails here. They opened, I don't know, 60 times here. And then here they opened 500 times. And then uh, here they never opened um, and, and stuff like this. Right. So basically before even sending an email to that person, I can tell you that please send them something about, let's say it's a truck, right? Send them emails about trucks, okay? They will open because I have the stats. And this is exactly what Facebook is doing now. They have data about everything you're doing, uh, you know, what, what you like and what you do on Facebook. They collect that data. And then advertisers, you know, when they're doing their targeting, they can say, give me people who are interested in this. Okay, that's exactly what I was doing. So now, um, I have this huge database um, with all these data points on people. And now, how did I make money? And this is the beauty of this. Now, the money came from, uh, let's say companies like Coca-Cola. And what I'm going to tell you here, guys, is true. Okay. So let's say, for example, Coca-Cola, they launch this campaign um, you know, I don't know, for example, you remember those campaigns where you could put your name on the bottle or something, right? Um, and then they collect, let's say they collected like 1 million emails, right? And then they forget about it because it happens. They forget because the person who was in charge was supposed to do something with those emails. They didn't do anything, blah, blah, blah. And then two years later, right? There's someone who comes in the marketing department and say, Hey, by the way, we had like a million emails here. What happened to them? And, oh, gee, we haven't done anything with it. 
uh, are they still valid? Who are those people? Okay? And this is when they will come to me. They will tell me, hey, look, we have all these emails that we've collected uh, a year ago. And, um, you know, because we haven't done anything, we need to requalify that data to know who is still, who still exists and, and uh, you know, who likes what and stuff. And so they will give me that data in a format called MD5, okay? It's encrypted, okay? Anyway, you don't need to know the technicalities and stuff. Uh, and so basically what I will do is I will compare this file that they just gave me with what I have in my system. So I will basically look at every single email. So let's say this is Bob's email and I will check in my database. And guess what? If I find Bob in my database, I will say, hey, yes, I, I have Bob and I know that Bob has opened 500 times something on trucks and Bob usually opens in the morning um, and the second thing that you should send him is maybe like cars because he opened like 200 times and I can tell you if Bob, Bob's address still exists, yes or no. So I can tell you now, look, we tried Bob and his, his address doesn't exist anymore. Or we can, I can tell you if Bob is a known complainer, is he known to complain all the time and stuff, right? Um, and all of these things, even before they sent a single email, I was able to give them this information. So when you see the stats that I've showed you before, it's because I've done this process, because I know exactly who to send that to, all right? And I can do my segmentation here. And there's a few other things that I, that I, I can know is that a spam trap, but I'm not gonna explain what a spam trap is and stuff. Anyway, so now how, you know, so obviously uh, when someone was doing this, they were paying me. Okay, so they were paying me quite a lot of money to do this because there's a lot of money at stake. They're going to make millions of dollars with this. Okay, they are going to make millions. All right, and so when he, so let's say, for example, I do this for someone and they will pay me, let's say, 10K to, um, so depending on how many I was able to match, right? If I'm able to match, let's say, I don't know, 100,000, I might charge them like 10K or something, right? Just to you know, just to make the numbers um, easier, right? And then what I will do is I collect, the, I collect the 10K and then I divide the money with all the people who helped me build the database, okay? So that means that they don't, there's nothing they have to do. I'm sending them wire transfers without them having to do anything. They just continue their, their, uh, their work as if nothing happened and they get extra money from me. And that was good money, right? So here I'm, I'm saying, you know, 10K, but sometimes, you know, it was like 50K and all the, um, the, uh, the participants were getting money. I was getting money as well. Okay. So this is me here. I'm getting money because I built the whole system. All right. So that was step number one for me. So step number one was uh, build the data. Okay. Now the only problem with this is, as you can imagine, this data, all of this, it doesn't belong to me. I cannot use it for my own campaigns. Okay. So my, my ultimate goal had always been to, how do I get my own data? All right. Once I have my own data, then this is where I can make serious money. All right. And my, my thing was, how do I get my own data? And um, one thing it's like really unexpected uh, was the key to everything. So I'm going to explain. Okay? Sorry if the video is a little bit long. You know, some people are not going to watch the whole video. If you watch the whole video, you will understand. This is growth hacking at its best. What I'm going to show you here, this, and I wasn't expecting this, um, but I took advantage of a gold, like a gold nugget that I received. And maybe you can do the same thing. I don't know these days. I don't know if you can do it, but me, that's the reason why I'm here. So basically this was, this is what happened. So one day I am called in a meeting. Okay. And we have two clients and which like, I have a meeting with two clients who don't know each other and stuff. I'm like, why do I have a meeting with two clients? And we're talking about like sensitive information with two, two clients at the same time in the same meeting, right? So what happened was this, is that these two clients 
what, what happened was there was this big website and it was called, um, what was it called? Let's say it's an e-commerce site, okay? E-commerce. Asha VIP was called. Asha VIP, okay? It was a huge e-commerce website, right? Huge. And they had a huge database, right? Because they, they just pour a lot of money into building a database. And basically is this business went bust. They went bankrupt, right? And these two guys, right, what happened was they purchased the database. So they basically went to like an auction and they teamed up to buy the database. And then now the, the reason for the meeting was now they wanted the, the, the two databases to be separated. So basically we had to take the databases and make sure there were no duplicates doing in the, in the databases, all right? But this is when it hit me. I was like, wait, I thought that in order to build your database, you need to build like funnels and nya, 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 et cetera, run some ads and everything. No, you don't. What, what these guys thought, so this meeting there was, for me, it was the best meeting I had in my life because these guys, they give me the key to my financial freedom by showing me what they did, that they bought this database. That's the reason why I'm here today. They taught me that businesses, a biz that will go bust, you can buy the damn database. You can buy the database, all right? And at the time, I don't know why, uh, and maybe it was the, the sophistication of the market, um, people were fighting for the chairs, the, you know, the tables, the computers and, and stuff, nobody, nobody was fighting for the email database. Nobody, all right? And so this is when it hit me. I said, look, the only thing I have to do is how do I find out who went bust and when the auction is, right? That's all I have to do. When is the auction? And so I partnered with a buddy of mine and we basically found a way to, you know, figure out who went bust, when, and we went and we bought databases like Madman. Okay. And when I'm, I'm, I'm saying buying the database, right? Because the company went bust, um, instead of paying, I mean, the databases that we bought initially, I think it was, what was it? It was, I think about 10 million, 10 million emails that we had in the, in the beginning. Okay. Uh, we bought multiple databases uh, of companies who went bust, all right? Um, and this, I think it cost, it must have cost us like 5,000 euros, something like this, something ridiculous, right? Just imagine how much money you will normally have to spend to get, you know, 10 million, all right? So now we have 10 million, okay? So what did we, do? and, uh, okay, afterwards. So remember, guys, remember that, what was step one? Step one was for me to get the data that allows me to clean anything. So I get a, clean, a, a dirty database on this side and then on this side, whoop, comes in, comes out, clean, all right? And so guess what I did? So this 10 million that I just bought, then I run it through my system. And we came back with, I think it was like 4 million, 4 million, really clean, really qualified data with all the data points. Remember I, I, I showed you all the data points that we had on people. And the best thing about it, this was mine. Okay. It's mine. I bought it. I am the legitimate owner of this business. Okay. And now that I have my own database, I can run my campaigns. So affiliate campaigns and stuff like that. And I can make big money. Okay. That had always been my goal. My goal was to own a database where I can do what I want. And this is basically how that happened. Okay. So I told you, okay. So, uh, now that I had my database, so I had like 4 million. 
then this is when I started my affiliate business. Affiliate, all right? And then the rest is history, all right? Um, and that, this is when I started collecting a lot and a lot of emails. And that was back in, um, so we're talking 2012 here, uh, or 2011, I don't remember. And then now, you know, flash forward, flash, is that flash forward? Yeah, uh, fast forward, sorry. Uh, 2022, when I'm recording this, um, I have, gee, so I, I showed you one server, right? With 13 million, but I think I have like 50 million or something in there in the database now. Um, by you know using so I, I did use that auction strategy for quite a while um i think now you know the, the problem is you know I, the reason why i'm sharing this with you is because uh you know maybe it's too late you know now with the gdpr blah 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 but depending on the country you're in okay this is the ultimate growth hack guys depending on the country you're in i don't know where you're watching this from then uh, maybe that doesn't matter, right? And it actually doesn't matter, even with GDPR, right? It doesn't matter. If you buy the damn database, if you buy your business, the business is yours, the database is yours, okay? It, point blank. So it doesn't even matter if there's GDPR or something. Now, the thing is, people are a little bit more sophisticated, so it will be a little bit harder for you to get the data, so it will cost you maybe a little bit more, and you have to fight more people to get it, but you can get it at like a thousand, a fraction of the price that you would have bought if you had to, to um, collect those damn emails, okay? So guys, if I could give you the ultimate growth hack to build the ultimate business is this. This is what I did. I found, find out companies that went bust, go buy the email, go buy the, the, um, the email, customer database, okay? And nobody can accuse you of spamming or blah, it's yours. All right, so this is how I built the, the, the whole thing um, and how I'm here today. So now I'm showing you, um, you know, again, I need to check because I mean, I have so, so much data, but I think I have like 50 million now that I use for many different things. And in this, in this series about uh, email, I'm gonna show you a, like a few things that I do with emails, but this is the ultimate shortcut guys. So if Right now, you're like, ah, oh, let me take click funnels, and then I will run some ads, and then from there, I will do blah, 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 etc. And then your database is going to grow like this, like, like a snail. Yeah, this is what people do, okay? If you're smart, right, you don't have to do all this bullshit. You just go straight, you buy the damn database, right? And then that's it. You're, you're saving. I mean, it, never in my lifetime, even like, I think I have more data than, than, than Fortune 500 companies, you know, in my database for a fraction of the price, right? I, I don't have the means to go and compete with them uh, money-wise, right? They have the budgets, like millions and stuff. I don't have it, so I just have to be smart. And I'm being smart by figuring this out. And all this started with this meal. So guys, that's pretty much it for, um, for this video. Um, so this was my story. Everybody's asking me, hey, how did you get started, blah, blah, blah. This is how I got started, okay? So, uh, and then from there, you know, again, I started doing affiliate marketing. And why am I that su successful in affiliate marketing? Is because I just applied some growth hacking techniques afterwards for my affiliate marketing what programs to choose, what verticals to be on, and all that kind of stuff, then uh, I just apply kind of like the same methods, right? Um, and so guys, if you wanna learn from me, right? Um, learn how I think. This is what I can give you, is to teach you how I think, how to think like a growth hacker, and show you examples and stuff. I have a program, uh, there'll be a link right under this video, and you can join the program, and I will show you some of the growth hacking things that I do, and you will be able to learn from me, you'll be able to create your own, you'll be able to make a shit ton of money, all right? So I just showed you how you can get millions of emails, millions of emails, all right? In a matter of like, you know, the, the four million that we, that we had, it was over a span of like two months. Two months, I built a, an email, uh, email database of four million, two months, all right? Um, super easy. If you, if you have the growth uh, hacker mindset, right? And this is something that I can give you in my program. So there'll be a link right under this video. You can click on it and uh, you can join me in my super ninja mastermind thingy 
uh, where I teach you all my stuff, okay? Also, there's gonna be another link right under um, here, it's, which is going to be the link of the playlist because this video is part of a playlist and you've probably missed some of my other growth hacks from before. Um, and also you want to be informed every time I release a new video with the new growth hacks, right? So anyway, there will be a link in there. Go bookmark the playlist, check out the previous videos, and I will see you in the next one. And so in the next couple of videos, so this is the email marketing series, right? So now that you understand how I got my data, right? Email marketing. Now I'm going to show you. So I showed you some crazy stats, right? So I'm going to show you now. I have so much data and it's a problem when you have too much data guys it's a problem how do you send the damn data all right do you think i can upload this data in mailchimp uh, or get response to something no they're going to kill me it's going to be expensive so what do you do when you have that much data this is what you're going to see in the next couple of videos i'm going to show you how i send the data how i get these results and everything okay so that's pretty much it guys see you in the next video bye